Ricky Skaggs is on a roll. This month, he's released his autobiography, Kentucky Traveler, as well as a live album with fellow Grammy Award winner Bruce Hornsby. After a successful collaboration six years ago, Ricky and Bruce came together again for a live project called Cluck Ol' Hen, named for the final track on the album. We had a chance to catch up with Ricky backstage at the Ryman Auditorium to hear all about his latest projects. We are backstage at the Ryman Big Night Bluegrass Night here with Ricky Skaggs. It's so good to see you. Good to see you again. Oh, man, and you've got so many great things going on. This is so exciting. Is I want to talk about this first, okay. Ricky Skaggs and Bruce Hornsby live. Yep. How did you two connect? This is, what a collaboration. We did, uh, you know, I used to record shows. I used to host shows here from the Ryman off for CMT uh, years ago live at the rhyme and then they called it Monday night concerts and everybody tuned in on Wednesday but anyway uh, we had some great artists that came along and Bruce was one of the artists and so that's kind of I mean we we'd met each other back in the 80s back when he had you know a big pop hit uh, the way it is and mandolin rain and all that and uh, and so we kind of met there but we re kind of connected when we did the television show and then he came in and did uh, a CD with me as a, as a tribute to Bill Monroe when, when Bill passed away and we had the Dixie Chicks and John Fogarty and a bunch of folks and and um, but anyway when we were rec recording that it happened so quick and, and the music was so great we just said we got to do more of this we got to do a whole record of this sometime and so we ended up doing a studio record together and then we went out and toured the studio record and worked up some more of his songs um, you know that we didn't do on the on the studio record and so this record here is recordings from those live shows that we did back you know five, five or six years ago uh, but these are so, they're so energetic, they're just, I mean, it's incredible, it's just the most wonderful music. I love it, and I love this photo, we were talking, and you said Marty yeah, Stewart took the photo, I didn't yeah. even know he could, he's Marty's, a photographer. Marty's a great photographer, a great black and white photographer, he loves shooting black and white, and uh, so this is Mr. Monroe out in his chicken yard, chicken mm -hmm. lot out uh, where he used to live. And he's uh, he's like shooting chickens with his mandolin. I, I love that. I, I know all those uh, those animal rights folks are going to hate this picture, but but it's just a mandolin. Get over well, he's it. He's not okay. really going to kill him with that unless he turns up the other and beats him. No, he, he he got a he he would take an axe to you know to the neck and and uh, get get him ready for dinner. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, that is true. Oh. It's a, okay, it's so a great record though. Cluck old hen. Where'd the title come from? Well, there's an old fiddle tune called Cluck old hen, and uh, I was uh, I was just fiddling around literally fiddling around mm -hmm. uh, one day uh, at soundcheck uh, or after soundcheck we were just we were all sitting backstage uh, with Bruce and and uh, I got to play in cluck old hen on the fiddle it's got a really cool tuning an old-fashioned old-time mountain tuning to it and uh, I heard Jim Mills my banjo player at that time down the hallway and he got his banjo out and started playing it and Bruce is kind of in the middle of Jim and me and he says what in the world are you guys playing I love that you know I said it's called Cluck Old Hen he said man we got to do that tonight for an encore you know so we ended up doing it as an encore and that's what happened that song right there yeah I so, love and that. he loves the title we, and we thought well gosh we could call it a lot of different things we would call it you know Skaggs Horns be live, but you know, it's just, he just loves Cluck Old Hen. So I do too. We what had, a we great had name. Chickens in there. And That's I love this shot here of the little chicken singing right there That's at the microphone. So Is that cute. cool? You have a book coming out. And I mean, August it's been 20th. years. You got lots of stories to share. I'm sure there'll be some great stories about this gentleman here on the front. Yeah. It starts out, actually, the prologue is, uh, is uh, my first meeting with Bill Monroe when I was six years old. And um, I go to see him, and the neighbors in the hood uh, starts hollering, let little Ricky Skaggs get up and sing. And uh, after about, you know, four or five times of, of that, well, I think he was ready to get it over with. So uh, he got me up to sing. He'd never met me, never, never heard of me, you know, but he pulled me up on stage and asked me what I played and I told him I played the mandolin and he let me play his big F5 mandolin, you know, which was like a guitar to a little six-year-old body, you know, and, uh, but I just fell, I fell in love with him that night. I fell in love with his music and I fell in love with the person of Bill Monroe because he was so giving and so sharing with his time that he allowed a little kid, you know, that he had never heard before get up and play and sing on his show. and. And uh, the neighbors loved it. The neighbors were so proud of me that I got to play with the Grand Ole Opry star Bill Monroe, you know. And, uh, you know, it was, it was a big deal to me, but, but I look back at it now and I see that that was like the pouring of oil from Samuel to David. Just 
Where can people buy this and the Cluck O' Hen? Cluck O' Hen you can get on Skaggs Family Records. Um, the, the book uh, is a HarperCollins book, and so you can get that pretty much at you know, Barnes & Noble. As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing a book signing tour. Okay. And Nashville's one of the, you know, we're going to do a, a date in Nashville and a date in Murfreesboro as well, both at Barnes & Noble. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be fun. I, it'll be great to, to sign something that's not a CD, you know. <laughs> we still have tons more music up ahead, so make sure to keep it tuned right here to Inside Music Row. We've got the Davison Brothers coming up next. You won't want to miss it.